Hmm. Karen would probably say either one or three. He does want to be a hero, and to be famous, so he's not really going to be humble and say his name's unimportant. He would just probably say, rest yourself, you've likely been petrified for some time now. Petra? How? I remember fighting some gnolls and... And one turned to stone right before my eyes. I turned around and there was this lizard thing, and then... And then you. I was turned to stone. For how long? I do not know. All that is important is that you are free now. I... I thank you. You have rescued a perfect stranger and... And asked for nothing in return. Certainly a selfless act if ever I have heard of one. I shall speak well of you to anyone that asks. Thank you once again. Parting gaining experience. Promise. Getting a reputation point. Onward, then. Aw, we're such a bunch of do-gooders. You've attacked. This makes me all emotional inside. Okay. No, it doesn't. All right then. Let's see. Didn't we have scrolls that we found? Scrolls that we can use to kill monsters that are different from us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Apparently, uh, okay. Alright, we don't want to put that in with the normal scrolls. That's, that's not a happy scroll. Alright, so she's been saved. We can go check out this armored woman up here. And we can probably go back to our normal formation, considering, uh, all the other basilisks are to the south. Camaraderie. Adventure and steel on steel. The stuff of legend, right, Boo? Hmm, what is this? Hello, travelers. I challenge your best warrior to a duel. I don't fight women, so only men should step forward. Hmm. Carrot would shrug and say, Sure, what's the rules and reward for winning? I win, and you give me 20 gold. In the unlikely event that one of you bests me, I'll pledge my sword to your cause. Hmm, sounds good to us. Will your champion step forward? I only fight men, so your women will have to be satisfied with just watching. Don't entertain any thoughts about cheating. If any of the rest of you try to interfere in this fight, I'll kill them outright. Well, that's rather harsh. Oh, apparently he is attacking Khalid. Go, Khalid! Oh, all right. He's off to a good start. He's already hurt. Go, Khalid, go! All right, he gets a hit in. Oh, gets another hit. You can do it, Khalid. Swing! It's a dual-wielding longsword fight. Ching, ching, ching. Oh, he's hurt. Let her have it. Swing! Swing! Ah, she says, I can't believe this. I'm beaten. By a man, no less. I guess I must keep my word. I pledge my sword to your cause, however stupid it may be. <laughs> That's rather harsh. And apparently she never mentioned the fact that her name is Chartil. Well, whatever. Garrett would probably say, Um, actually, we don't need your assistance. We just kind of thought this would be fun. If you're too stupid to see my worth, then that's your problem. And she wanders off. Hmm. Odd lady. Doesn't seem to like men very much. Well, did a good job, Khalid. To hear it gives him a healing touch. And says, way to kick that jerks. That uh, lady's behind. Although it rather is odd. Why would you call Chartil a lady? She's certainly not very ladylike. Although she is a noble woman, yes, although oh, that's oh, out of character, that's something that I know, figure. not something that Carrot knows. She's actually a fairly interesting yeah, character. I don't think I've ever actually done a full Let's Play with her in the party. Maybe I have. I don't remember. No, I don't think I have, actually. Because she's actually chaotic evil and uh, an Amazon, so to speak. Incredibly violent. And, uh, I don't know, she's fun to have the party. I, I don't know if I ever do an evil... Let's play of uh, the original Baldur's Gate. I would certainly have her along. I have done a an evil playthrough with uh, the second game, but uh, not the first game. I my Who knows? Maybe in, uh, after a long time, if I ever play through the series again, 
I'll do one of uh, an evil party filled with questionable characters doing all kinds of depraved and evil acts. Wahaha. Probably not. <laughs> then I think other people have already done that, so. Then again, all kinds of people have already done Let's Plays of this, so that's not really an argument. Or at least a valid argument, anyway. Okay, uh, yeah. Um, I think we just got rid of the Tesloy. There's the case of that weird ghoul, but I don't see it anywhere. Well, there it is. It's not attacking. Wait! Me no want fight. Me Korax. Me friend. A ghoul named Korax wants to be our friend. Wow. Carrot would not really know how to appreciate the, uh, appreciate, approach this situation. You could say, you can be our friend, but you better not do anything that'll make us mad. Essentially implying that he follows the party around, which he doesn't want. You could say, you're not our friend, but since you're a talking ghoul, and we haven't seen too many talking ghouls, we'll let you live. Now get out of here. That doesn't make him any less of a monster that could actually kill or eat people. And then he could just say, sorry chum, you're a ghoul, we're adventurers, so we're going to have to kill you. Don't look so surprised, it's all by the book. Um, hmm. It's a ghoul! I mean, Carrot, even if it does talk, Carrot would reason that it was part of some sort of depraved magical experiment, where intelligence was uh, put into an otherwise mindless and evil undead monster. And considering this thing could just run around killing people, especially if the party lets it go, you really can't justify letting Korax be, even if he is a, a friendly undead monster. Uh, yeah, so he's just gonna scratch his head and after a while be like, mm, well, sorry chum, but you're a ghoul, and we're adventurers, so we're going to have to kill you. And don't look so surprised, it's all by the book. You're meanies, and me don't like you, he says. Um, no, we're not meanies, we're just doing what we think is right. Considering we think it's a little irresponsible to let, uh, a ghoul just wander around, even if it can't talk. How much for you, Gorax? Don't take it personally. Gary just doesn't feel like you'd be very responsible to let a ghoul wander around. Even if it does have a name and it can talk. Fairly straightforward. Not really sure why the Taz Lawyer are even really putting up a fight anymore. Considering the party is just pretty much going around getting rid of all of them. Hmm, color spray scroll. It's a spell he hasn't actually used in a little while. Hmm. Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. See there were some gnolls down here. Let me get rid of them. I don't know, it'd be nice if some of these monstrous humanoids actually wanted to talk for a change. I remember running into those friendly gnolls on the road south of, uh, Baragost. That was nice. I like that change of pace, rather than the just, I'm an evil monster and I'm gonna eat your face approach, which seems to be, uh, standard operating procedure. All right. Color spray. Scroll. Whee! And you all take a nap. You make your death painless. And the funny thing about second edition rules is there's no such thing as uh, the coup de grace, or the stroke of mercy, as it is in French, that they introduced in third edition to kill helpless opponents. So they just gave you big bonuses to hit sleeping creatures, which I guess is a solution, however absurd. All right, there's. The Cave bears, the basilisks, three and one. Cave bears, the adventuring party, black bears, black bears, Tesloy. At least we're leaving the black bears alone. 
Considering they don't attack us unless we do something stupid like try to charm them or get too close to them. Good as done. La 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 la. Alright, so because we're going to be dealing with Basilis very soon, we'll organize into a line again. And. Down here, we'll cast protection for petrification on Jahira. And Khalid. Yes, O oh, Omnipresent Authority to heal more. No less than done. For the group. I guess get rid of them, and then come around through here and get rid of them, and then take out these Tazloi, leave the black bears alone, maybe calling.